Yeah, back again with another horror story. This episode, chat room. Alright, Yeah, well. Yeah, apparently I was supposed to be eating pizza, but uh, I guess not. You know what? Let's just get on with the show. Um, apparently, I guess, um. So apparently, I used to use chat room a lot when I was in middle school, but I think it was basically MySpace, and I don't have a MySpace anymore, and I was on a group chat with one of my friends. I was on a group chat with my friend, um, Jasmine, and we were talking, and apparently somebody else joined in, and I said that we don't know this person, and it was a private chat between me and Jasmine, but she said, oh, Belle was supposed to join today, but Belle got a little bit busy for, uh, privacy reasons, which I will not mention. I don't like to mention people's personal lives. So, apparently this guy who goes by, um, I guess he goes by the name, um, so apparently he's like Ninja of, Ninja of Lava 44468, I don't know, like, what to do. So apparently I'm texting Jasmine from my phone saying, do we know this person? She said no. I'm like, how does he know our names? And I'm like, we didn't, we just put fake names. And I'm like, Somehow, in some way, he actually got, like, our real names. So, apparently, I guess, like, Jasmine and I are like, well, we weren't old enough to have mace. Like, literally, I'm 20 and I have the right to own mace. But we were, like, what? We were, like, 13. We were both 8th graders. And I guess Jasmine um, was on vacation in either Arizona or New Mexico. But I don't know. She was around that area. And I guess I was talking to her through MySpace, you know, we also, she also had her phone, and I guess we talked through MySpace, like, what? We were, like, um, we were 8th graders in middle school, and apparently we were, like, she was, like, there because it was Memorial Day weekend, so she was there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and didn't come home until Monday. So, yeah, we were just talking, and I guess we don't know this person, and he's like, hey, I think you're cute, and I was like, okay. Apparently, I guess, like, if this guy keeps it up, like, we didn't even go to sleep for a bit, and we're just, like, we don't know what to do, and, um, we're just, like, should we get a knife or something? Well, Justin said if this guy ever finds us, like, literally comes to our house, let's have a knife, or just, yeah, we were, like, have a knife or go to somebody's house if, um, you know. Yeah, but, like, literally, we just made a plan if we can find somebody to stay with. Because, you know, we were afraid to be home alone. Because sometimes people break things to get in your house. A window, um, a, a door, well, the front door, or the, the back door, or a storm door, whatever. And they can use a balcony if it's a lower level. I mean, I have a balcony back home, but it's upwards, so you can't really get up there. They can break down your fences for your property. Um, yeah, any any sort of material to get in. But uh, yeah, I guess um, I don't even know how to say it. Um, apparently, me and Jasmine made a plan that if anybody isn't busy, like our aunts or uncles, we would hang with them for the day or sleep over. So, apparently, I guess my mom had gone out for the night, and, well, my, uh, dad was out with, like, he wasn't gonna come home for the night, and I guess I contacted my aunt before my mom had left an hour early, so I asked my aunt, because both of my parents were gonna be home, and she's actually said that I could stay for a couple of nights, so I packed all my stuff, so my aunt actually, I guess I waited for a couple of minutes, and then I get a call from my aunt, well, it was her phone number, and she said, I'm here, um, I said, where are you? She said, oh, I'm in the driveway. And I'm like, so apparently I see my aunt's car. I get in, and I'm paranoid that there's this freak might be looking for us. So apparently I told my aunt that, um, we were, I was talking with my friend in a chat room, and so, suddenly this guy kind of got on, even though I said it's private. So she said, well, if your parents aren't going to be home for a few days, I'll still keep you, but, you know... I'm gonna have grandma watch you in case. Apparently my aunt used um, 
something. I guess people use them during hurricanes. I guess like a hurricane thing. But she put it down on, um, uh, I think she put it down on all her windows and her, oh, and her three doors. The front door, the balcony door, and the downstairs door, which is kind of, she has an upstairs balcony and she has a downstairs balcony in her backyard. So she put that up. She put like every, um, oh, and I think she also has a back door too. So she put that up. And, um, I think she got the garage, she got the, um, she got the garage door to be locked. And trust me, she, like, that, I think because our garage, she had a, she has a garage that, um, that if you, uh, like, if you try to get in, you're not going to get in because that thing has, like, a laser security system. And she kind of put that on everything. So, even in my cousin's bedroom, in the spare bedroom that I was staying at, Everything, she put the whole house on security proof, but she said if I, uh, come back. So, apparently, I guess, um, my grandmother came because my aunt had to do some errands and a few other things, but would text me, um. So, my grandma said, my grandma brought over dinner and a few other stuff, and I guess, um, she noticed, um, apparently, I guess my aunt has the ring on, the ring thing on her door. So apparently, I guess, um, we also got it to work on the TV, and I, and apparently this guy, who's like, um, he's wearing all black, he's got like a, um, a Pittsburgh Pirates beanie, because it was the winter and it was Christmas break, I'm like, oh great. So, yeah, um... Apparently, I'm like, and my grandma's like, uh, do you know this guy? I'm leaving out my name for privacy reasons. And I said, no. I'm like, how does he know your name? i like, she's like, is this one of your friend's parents? And I said, no. I said, this is not somebody I know. And I'm like, she's like, you're not talking to strangers, right? And I said, no, I talked to my friend Jasmine. And she said, is that her dad? I'm like, no, Jasmine's dad, um, you know, isn't alive anymore. So apparently, I guess I told my aunt, and I took a picture of the guy, and like, you know, this kind of matched up his face. So I called my aunt, and she was bringing home Wendy's, so I was just like, I texted her what I wanted anyway, and... Um, I told her that there's this guy at the door, and I said, I have a picture of him, and she said... Okay, what's going on, Mike? Somehow, in some way, it's a creep. I don't know who this is, and he somehow knows my name and my cousin's name and grandma's name. And I was like, okay. She said, oh, he knows your name too. So apparently, um, one of my neighbors, actually no, one of her neighbors, uh, her next door neighbor, he's not there anymore. He lives in Chicago now. So apparently, I guess the police got involved, and I guess um. By the time he tried to, you know, um, get down the little hill, because my aunt lives on a hilly area, um, the police arrived and handcuffed him because apparently he was, um, he actually got charged for mild stalking because apparently he does this, t he did it to other minors, like other teenage girls back then. So apparently, I guess my aunt pulls in and she sees the cop cars, but I, t I told the police that she's the owner of the house and she can come in. And she's like, and I guess they're like, okay. And I said, well, I was staying with her because my parents weren't going to be home for a few nights. And they said, okay, well, your parents are smart. And I was like, you know what? It's just because I have a fear of being home alone. And they're like, well, we already heard about what happened to you. And I was like, yeah. So apparently, I guess my aunt contacted both my parents back then and said that you know there was somebody. And I said told my parents honestly, crying that I don't talk to strangers on the internet. And she said I don't know, but I guess MySpace had someone found a way to um, find your address and everything. But like MySpace though, I guess um. Yeah. So apparently, I don't have a MySpace account anymore. So. I don't have a, yeah, I don't have a MySpace account anymore. Like, you literally, if you want my name, that's it. I don't have it there. All my friends that had MySpace, they're gone. And, I mean, MySpace isn't even a website anymore. So, apparently, I'm never using MySpace again. I mean, I have other social medias, but all my social medias will be set to private from now on, and I have to, you know, see that. 
Um, yeah, I would be careful on who you talk to online. My name is Jade, and I'm signing out. Night, Al. Peace, guys.